Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Richard Rapport and Shahriar Mamedjarov. This is a game from the AIM Chess Meltwater Champions Tournament 2022. Rapport had white pieces and he started with e4. Mamedjarov played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. White to move. g3. Going for a surprise in the opening. Knight to f6. d3. This looks like a king's Indian attack structure. But you can call it the inverted Philida game. d5. e takes on d5. Queen takes on d5. Bishop to g2. Black to move. Bishop to g4 is the most played move in this position. Mamejaro played e4, and this looks like a risky play by Mamejaro, doesn't it? Knight to c3, bishop to b4, pinning the knight. Knight to g5, bishop to g4. Is that a sharp game, or is that a sharp game? Queen to d2, bishop takes on c3, pawn takes bishop, Mamejaro castled queen's side and the rapport castled king's side. Black to move. Perhaps some players would consider moving the queen to a safe spot, something like queen to d7 comes to mind. Mamejaro played knight to e5. The knight is perhaps on the way to a juicy f3 square. Maybe. Who knows? Why to move? This is the critical moment of the game. Perhaps queen to e3 should have been considered. c4 was played. Let's take it back. If queen to e3, one line goes like this. Knight to f3 check. Bishop takes knight. Bishop takes bishop and then c4. This seems like a good line for white. Back to our game. Rapport played c4 and that allowed the black queen to go to d4. Rapport was not very worried about this move. He played rook to b1. h6 attacking the knight but now instead of moving the knight queen to b4 threatening to take on b7. How should black defend? What would you do if you had black pieces? Instead of defending or playing b6 h takes on g5 was played let's take it back if b6 then bishop to b2 and white stands better back to our game h takes on g5 queen takes on b7 check king to d7 bishop to b2 attacking the queen this is now the most critical moment of the game it is black to move please pause and find the best move for black did you pause what did you find i will show you quite a logical move that black can play in this position queen to d6 and after queen to b5 check the black king can hide on e6 but after rook from f to e1 Things are very complicated. Back to our game. So queen to d6 is not a bad move. But Majarov played an absolutely amazing move in this position. Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this amazing killer move? Rook takes pawn. Kaboom! Believe it or not, in this position, Richard Rapport, player with the white pieces, resigned. Let's see why. If bishop takes queen, what happens then? Then rook takes on g2 check, forcing the white king to take the rook, and then check with bishop, king goes to g1, and then rook to h8 is deadly. White can try something like queen to b5 check, 
After c6, queen to b7 check, king to e6 and black wins and let's go back. How about then taking the rook? Then rook to h8 check, after king to g1, knight to f3 check, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop and again if check, the black king can go to e6 but the king can go also to c8 and then the best move for white in this position is to resign. That was an amazing tactical game, wasn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.